welcome back everybody we're gonna jump straight into this video today with some decorating we are ticking off a load of to do's um, from my to-do list this week um, this wall has been one coat painted for oh, ages so I um, stopped procrastinating and did the second coat on the wall and um, put a few little bits of decor up I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there but how have you all been hope you've been well um, my husband's been away all week um, so Steve's been in America with work so basically that's why I've used this week as the opportunity to get bits and pieces done that I needed to do so I hope you're all well hope you're having um, I hope you've had a lovely week and I'm having gonna have a lovely bank holiday weekend coming up um, so yeah hope you enjoy this video and uh, as usual grab yourself some snacks and a drink and uh, sit back and enjoy So I am not an expert decorator by any means and it's not one of my favourite jobs. I am far too impatient and um, you'll have seen me just a little bit a minute ago wiping paint up off the floor because I did cover the floor but I still managed to get paint on it um, and I probably don't do things in the right order but it is what it is and um, you know I can't afford to get decorators in right at the minute just for a little bit of wall so and I enjoy doing it I do enjoy doing it it's just I don't suppose it's the uh, most favorite thing in the world so yeah the paint that I'm using is Faro and Ball Comforth white and it's not white it's kind of gray beige um, and it's quite subtle when you sat in the room because of the way the light is you can't really tell massively that it's a different color it just gives it a bit of warmth and I absolutely love it so you can see in a second, I think in a minute, here we go, that it's finished. I do think I need a little bit of greenery or a plant in the corner, but I've got the clock and then my um, mixed tiles. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. So moving on to my next to do, that was to get the garden mode. So I want to do another garden bed, raised bed, along the wall at the back end, but the um, grass had grown a little bit long and we've had quite a few wet days so this was the first kind of dry sunny day and it was a case of let's get the lawn mode. excuse Henry's butt that you can see in the uh, frame there he just is so frightened of the lawnmower that every time I kind of went near him he ran away um, and he was quite interested in everything around the camera so I am sorry about that you will see him close up again in a minute um, 
So the garden is a project that's going to take me probably a few years to complete. I love gardening, I love my garden, but um, I can't, I just, I can't do everything all at once and in a way that's frustrating but I think actually it's kind of nice as well. Um, so I've got all my kind of pots here, I've got my tulips and in this bed I am, sorry about my shadow guys, in this bed I've got alliums, I've got um, peonies, I've got lots and lots of summer flowering um, plants and it's going to look super um, and I'm really really looking forward to that but it's the massive expanse of grass to the left just you'll see now in shot that it's just an issue and it's just going to take a while for me to decide what I want to do with it I enjoy the process I want to do it myself but I just have to accept that doing it in small chunks and bite-sized chunks is just more manageable for me so this raised bed is going to be filled you need to get some compost and soil fill it all up just a little close up of the apple here it's just gorgeous and then put some um, annuals in it and that'll be that for this year. Even when my teardrops start to dry. So um, another thing I need to tackle are these bare patches in the um, garden so this is where um, my female doggies poppy has had a little wee and it's burnt the grass so that needs sorting out um moving on i have been asked what i do kind of for hobbies and this is one of the things that i've been doing so i've been knitting myself a blanket now i'm not a massive knitter i'm not great at following a pattern so basically i can do squares um and i find it really relaxing to just sit in front of the telly and do something with my hands other than eat food um, so yeah so I've been knitting the blanket and uh, here it is all finished it's so snuggly and the wool that I used um, <coughs> it's from the crafty stitch and it is like a chenille and it's really really soft and snuggly so yeah definitely definitely recommend them so again let's do another job off my to-do list and I've been saying for ages I need to get my seeds planted at the allotment so here we are allotment kettle on and we're going to clear out my polytunnel and get some seeds planted So I've just, <coughs> oh excuse me, frog in my throat. Um, so I've taken down all the little strings that were holding the tomatoes up last year and I'm now clearing off these shelves that I use for starting my seeds off and kind of holding my seedlings until they're ready to um, pot on. So the polyton is actually getting really warm during the day but it's still freezing on a night here and it will do for another probably a couple of weeks. I've not known a spring to be as cold as this spring um, and so I'm only just starting seeds that I would have started a whole month, maybe six weeks before um, in previous years and that's been a little bit of a shock to the system but actually worked in my favour because I've been so so busy. So the shelves are all clear now and we're going to get on with planting a few seeds. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder How 
How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. So that's the runner beans planted and that's kind of the main job that I wanted to do. I'm starting to take all the wood chip up from this um, kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, like kind of front area before my shed um, because it's just grown weeds in it. Um, it's been down a few years now and it's just tatty and horrible but I'm going to recycle it and use it for compost because it's really really good kind of it's breaking down and it's going to be really really good although I am going to get rid of those weeds you can see the grass really needs trimming I'm going to um, ask Steve to do that at the weekend and I have lots more weeding to do this bed particularly in front here but the polytunnel is all kind of cleaned out now as far as I want to do it um, I just need to take these pots out and clear stuff up and it'll be ready for tomatoes and I've sown quite a few seeds so I am happy and that is another job ticked off the to-do list. So we're going to go back home now and we're going to um, end the video by preparing a really really delicious dinner that I wanted to share with you. So as you'll know if you've seen my videos before I get gusto meals, we get four a week um, for four people and this one was um, a chicken souvlaki um, sandwich with um, tzatziki dip and it was absolutely delicious. So um, we're going to make that for tea and then I'm going to sit down and chill out and be proud of myself for getting those jobs done off my to-do list. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Ooh, it makes me wonder. A couple hours from Japan. Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close So these um, potato wedges just had salt and pepper on them, oil and then um, thyme. What a game changer thyme is on potato wedges or roast potatoes. I had not had this before. Why have I got to 43 years old and not had thymey roast potatoes or thymey wedges before? They are delicious. Um, so yeah, um, you saw me chop up the um, wedges and bob them in the oven. I am now going to marinate the um, chicken and I'm not a fan of touching raw chicken so I found this bit a little bit hard um, probably should have worn some kind of kitchen glove um, but it's a good job you can't see my face properly because I was pulling some real faces um, <laughs> but it did taste delicious
so that was um, basically the chicken marinated then put on skewers and put in the oven I will link um, the recipe in the description box so don't worry that I'm not talking you through it or what I'm adding and putting in um, just have a look at the recipe it is on the gusto website um, and you can you know, obviously you don't have to buy the gusto to do the recipe you can get the recipe from their website and make the meal yourself so I'm just chopping up the cucumber now to make the tzatziki dip um, that was delicious but I put far too much mint in um, I don't know what I was thinking but probably that I liked mint a lot more than I do um, and it was a little bit too toothpastey but it was still nice um, so yeah just putting this all together and um, there was quite a few stages, quite a few steps for somebody like me who's not a massive lover of cooking, which is one of the reasons why I get gusto in the first place. Um, but the end result was just, I can't even tell you, it was just gorgeous. Searching for something that ain't lost Have we got our lines crossed We're wasting time on stuff doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things That weren't broken Misunderstandings And words unspoken We fall apart And I won't dare to say Do you feel the same way? just kind of getting everything ready now putting the ciabatta um, rolls into the oven to warm through and then I'm gonna serve everything up thank you so much for joining me today I am so happy to have you with me every week to get these things ticked off our to-do list to get jobs done to get the cleaning done just to keep us all motivated and um, that's what you guys do for me and I am so so grateful that you are here Thank you to the new subscribers who have joined us and thank you for those of you who keep coming back and watching the videos every week. I really, really appreciate you. So have a fantastic week. Enjoy yourselves and um, I'll see you on the next one.